Vegan chocolate chip cookies are pathetic when you put it next to these cookies. These vegan, better than Levin Bakery style, giant chocolate chip cookies were probably the ending pun of a Yo Mama joke back in the day. Yo Mama so big, but with that size, make no mistake, there is zero sacrifice in flavor. This cookie is pretty much seared on the outside, so it has the ultimate crisp, not just on the edge, but across the whole dome. Did I mention this cookie was so thick? It has a dome. If you could open this cookie and walk in, you would think it had vaulted ceilings. I wouldn't even blame you if you decided to drop a prayer in there because it's so comfortable, you would think it was in church. Hallelujah. The inside of this cookie could only be described as warm, soft, and cozy. <laughs> I mean, once you get your tongue in there, you're not gonna wanna take it out. We're still talking about the cookie. The cookie you bake and my friends come here close let me show you a little hospitality while wow, this here cookie is so darn big you would think it was made out here in texas all right all right all right or you're stopping over here in the big apple enjoying yourself just taking a walk through central park looking for this bakery and it's completely dark no matter where you are i'm gonna show you how to make it Chocolate chip cookies are my absolute favorite. What's better than a chocolate chip cookie? The easy answer is two. The outside of the box answer is what I'm about to show you. Okay, if I said this once, I've said it twice. I may not say it all the time, but you and I know I'm saying it at this time. What the hell am I saying anyway? <laughs> oh, have all your ingredients prepped and measured out prior to starting your recipe. And often cookie recipes call for softened butter, mostly because it's easier to cream together with the sugar. In a recipe like this, it doesn't even matter. We're going to chill the dough anyway later in the recipe. Speaking of butter, into the bowl is what we're gonna be dumping in first, some vegan butter. Next is going to be our sugars, that's brown sugar and cane sugar. I like to squeeze the brown sugar between my fingers and it's completely unnecessary, but it's kind of therapeutic. You should try it. Now it's time to cream all this together. Often people underdo this step, so let me make it clear. This is the longest your mixer is going to be on for the recipe. I mean, raise your hand if you want butt cheeks that jingle like bells during Christmas because you didn't eat too many of these cookies. Yes. I'll take a few orders of the uh, butt cheeks cookies, please. Well, cream these together for about four to six minutes and then you're good. Don't forget, during the process, you may need to scrape down the bowl for even distribution. Next, add your egg replacer of choice and vanilla and bring it together until just combined. Your egg replacer of choice can be flax egg, applesauce, coconut cream, vegan sour cream, vegan yogurt, Bob's egg replacer. I swear I get one question asking me about an alternative egg replacer. I'ma fight your daddy. Excuse me, sir. Are you users uh, sexy pink pony um, 2001, I whip my hair back and forth father? Oh, that, that's your name. From here, you're just going to dump in all your dry ingredients, starting with the flour. I use two types of flour, all-purpose and cake flour. No worries, I designed this recipe so you can also use all-purpose flour if that's all you have. But if you want that uh, throw blanket type of interior to your cookie, then get yourself some cake flour. Or head over to the website linked in the description below, makeadairyfree.com, and I'll go over how you can achieve the same thing with all-purpose flour and some cornstarch. Finish up with some salt and baking powder, not baking soda, not the same thing. And mix this all together until just combined. The dough should have the teeniest bits of flour still hanging around. And that's because you're going to fill the rest of the bowl with chocolate chips, and walnuts if you choose before mixing again. Most times I won't recommend using a mixer to add in your chocolate chips or walnuts because it easily can be overdone. If that sounds like you, then make sure you just fold the chocolate chips in with a spatula. With your cookie dough almost ready, we're going to form these into boulders before baking. So you can use a cookie scoop. The one I'm using here, I think is a number eight. It's about two and three quarter inches in diameter. For the perfectionists, you could also use the scale and your dough ball should weigh about six ounces. Lastly, if you have neither or just don't feel like breaking them out, split your dough into six even balls, no matter what they tell you. Everybody loves some equal balls. You know what I mean? All right, from here, you would refrigerate this for about 30 minutes and bake them after. And if all goes well, wait, why am I, why am I walking back in here? Oh, yeah, what I forgot to say 
is I like to add a few extra chips on top. As I was saying, if all goes well, you know what time it is. guys i love you so much your support with views likes and comments help me stay home and keep making videos and putting smiles on your face also what's really exciting is that we're almost at 500 subscribers on our nature music therapy channel believe in good sound you all are amazing as always believe in good peace all you do is walk talk and pretty much fight all over the place is this New York or Boston? <laughs>